Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Bayer Crop Science and CNMC. I'm Amber Bell and this is Real Agriculture. I'm here today with Rory Cranston of Bayer and we are going to be speaking about seeding dates and kind of the whole gamut on what we're looking at when you're seeding a little bit later in the season. So hi Rory, it's great to see you. Great to be here Amber. Yeah. Okay, so talking about seeding dates, what is ideal? What are we looking for if it comes to hey we've had a really wet spring not able to get out there till later you know what are we what are we expecting oh well, that's a real interesting question and yeah there can be aspects of agriculture that push you later in seeding than you want to be but also maybe some reasons why you want to seed a little bit later to deal with maybe some situational problems as well too so seeding later uh you know i think we always want to capture as much moisture as possible so we're seeding as early as possible in some cases but there could be some benefits in how we can really utilize seeding dates later um, mm -hmm. as well too. So one that really comes to mind for me uh, is that aspect of weed control. So later seeding date, more weeds are gonna be up. That effective pre-burn that we could have with our Roundup plus a tank mix partner really get us a jump on in-season fields. So maybe even if you do have a field you can get into, but you're battling group one, group two resistant wild oats. Um, getting that good pre-burn can really set you up. Um, glyphosate or an Avidex, uh, so protecting potentially resistance against both with those two effective modes of action can be really good as well too. Uh, some other things with seeding and seeding late, you know, um, when we think about ideal seeding temperatures for our crops, you know, we can germinate as low as two Celsius uh, in the soil temperature. Mm -hmm really starts to ramp it up five but at that kind of 10 to 15 degrees celsius oh that seeds live in la vida loca like ricky martin it can really go it can establish fast it can get up quick um so i think some of the benefits maybe if you have to seed late is really utilizing that to get ahead of your weed control in a lot of cases um like i said effective tank mix partners great burn off but then you know not really doing anything too crazy with your seeding making sure you've got good establishment there doing whatever you can to get a pop out of the ground get going um because you're starting to worry about like oh if you are in some of those palace or triangle areas that late season drought that we've typically experienced trying to do as much of it as we can to advance it so good fertility packages staying ahead of that but it's definitely some things i think we can use um for weed control i think to maybe right. stay ahead of the curve in some other areas. So yeah, that's maybe something we could do with a later seeding date in, in some cases. Are there any locations in the prairies where a later seeding might actually be more beneficial than going early? Well, and I think that's kind of interesting. If you look at the prairies and just kind of our moisture gradient, we're driest in the Southwest and moisture increases as we go Northeast. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes they're forced um, just due to moisture in, in the spring and fall for later seeding times. But yeah, you get a little bit more reprieve with uh, those late season rains that can occur there. That seeding late isn't as detrimental uh, in some right. cases. And so I, I think if even how maybe we've seen some of just how herbicide resistance has developed in some areas, that somehow that can go into it of just being able to get in there, uh, get those control measures in a little bit better as well too. Do you think that might be a good way to kind of get around the herbicide resistance? Well, uh, it, it can help for sure. I don't think we can ever get around <laughs> herbicide resistance as is, uh, but you know, using effective modes of action at different times. Um, I, I think with some of the very early seeding times, mm -hmm. when we look at a lot of our weeds that are later emerging, like wild oats, and we do a pre-burn, often they don't really get that application um, on it. And so uh, having something that maybe they've popped up really can get us a different mode of action that's typically been on it to really hopefully get ahead um, help us solve make that work of our in crops just a little bit better right and how might seed treatment change if you're seeding a little bit later in the season and that's a great aspect to it too because uh, you know if we look at seed treatments um, and just their impact in it uh, diseases in the soil diseases that we have other places you know they are adaptive. There's diseases that really thrive 
in a warm, wet mm -hmm. soil. There's ones that thrive in a dry, warm soil. There's ones that thrive in a cold, wet soil. And there's even some that are in a cold, dry. Diseases, they love warm and moisture, though. They do really well. And so sometimes if you seed early and that plant gets up, you maybe have avoided a lot of the lots, a good chunk of that disease pressure. But now you might be in an environment that they really are conducive to. Mm -hmm. So using a seed treatment can really help protect it because you want to get it up and get it out as fast as you can now um, out of the ground to really capture as much moisture, have that great stand establishment, even maturity throughout the season. And so protecting that at that timeline could be very beneficial um, to really helping out, protecting against diseases and making sure you've got a good stand establishment uh, coming into the season. Great. And do you have any words of encouragement for producers as they're going into seeding? You know, we only get really one chance to establish the crop at the start of the year, doing everything we can for best establishment. If that's early, using what we can there mm -hmm. to make sure we have a high enough survivability. Uh, if it's late, doing something to set up your crop for herbicides, those later applications, things that can help out. Good stand establishment, competition is going to be great. So everything you can to make sure you have a good start um, really helps out. You know, I, I say sometimes at the start of the year, it's like running a race, right? Uh, if you got a great start, your chances of winning out of doing well in it really help out. You're slow or laggy or kind of shaky out of the gates. Well, things just got a little bit tougher for that race. Um, and that's for stand establishment. But probably the one thing I always will say, as we get excited, we get closer to seeding, um, getting into a race, uh, actually more to me is gonna be safety. Um, mm. In a lot of cases, uh, it's exciting. We, some people will put their entire crop in, in 10 days on long days, um, some longer. And so taking that time to be safe um, is I think something really critical for agriculture beyond the establishment and trying to grow a crop as well too. That's terrific. Well, thank you so much. Thank and you. that was Rory Cranston on Real Agriculture.